What's up, all my truth seekers? Pastor Jacob here. I wanted to uh, be a little transparent with you all. I am 38 years old. I'll be 39 in October. And I am living with stage four chronic kidney disease, as do many millions of Americans today, um, especially in the African-American community. Um, it's something I've been dealing with for years, but before COVID, I was in stage three, which isn't so bad. But, um, after COVID, after my first bout with COVID, which I thought was going to take me out of here, that pushed me into stage four. So, um, today, which is Monday, by the time you see this, I will be in UNC, Chapel Hill, meeting with uh, the kidney team, the transplant team. So that's where I am in my um, journey. Now, um, it is scary. I don't know what to expect. Um, I may get a transplant. I may end up on dialysis in the future. Right now, I'm not there yet. These are the preliminary things that we're doing to get it out of the way in case I get there because my uh, GFR, my glomecular filtration rate is about 19. So um, where the average person would probably be between 70 and 100 or higher. So um, that's where I'm at. So um, it's it's a scary thing. I have a wife and five children. And so, you know, we think about these things, but I'm trying my best. I do my best not to worry about these things. These things are in God's hands. God is sovereign. So then, as I often do, ladies and gentlemen, so I want to make it clear. I often, very often pray for my healing, that God would miraculously heal me because I know and I believe that God can do it. However, my theology tells me that God does not always do it. My understanding of God and his character is that he may very well keep me through this thing and not take it from me. Meaning, remember Daniel in the lion's den? God didn't keep Daniel from the lion's den. He kept him in the lion's den. Remember the Hebrew boys? God didn't keep them from the fiery furnace. He kept them in the fiery furnace. So I look at these things as sometimes we, we deal with these hardships and we want God always to move the mountain. We want God always to part the Red Sea. But God doesn't always do that. Sometimes there's a storm at sea and the ship gets broken apart and we just survive on a plank. Sometimes we go down with the ship. Sometimes God brings smooth sailing. We don't know which is which. We pray for the smooth sailing. We pray for the miraculous intervention of God. However, is God less worthy if he doesn't do those things? Is God less loving if he doesn't do those things? Is God not still worthy of the glory, honor, and the praise whether he heals my body or not? He absolutely is. And I will give him the glory and I will give him the honor and I will give him the praise. So I wanted to make this video just to encourage you who may be going through some things. Maybe you have chronic kidney disease. Maybe you have some other kind of disease that affects your life. And I'm saying to you that maybe God will heal you. Please pray for your healing. But don't think any less of him if he doesn't. Don't think he doesn't love you if he doesn't. It may be better for your holiness if God keeps you through this thing than to heal you from it because then you may return to your sin. So I'm aware of that uh, possibility there. But I just want to encourage somebody else. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might, not your own. Don't try to bear the load by yourself. If you got family, you got loved ones, 
let them bear the burden with you. So you're, you're not made to carry this burden by yourself. Now, mind you, I'm not telling you go around, tell everybody and give everybody a sob story because I don't. I talk about it because I want people to understand that you can suffer well. You can go through what you're going through and still keep a smile on your face and say, God is good. And it absolutely be true and not something I just made up or not something I'm saying to make myself feel good. I say it because I believe it. And I'm telling you that no matter what you're going through, God is still good. God is still great. God is still a way maker. He is still a miracle worker, even if he doesn't work that miracle for you. So I pray that um, you're encouraged by this word. I pray that you're edified by this word. I pray that you're strengthened by this word. So pray for me. I'll be praying for you. God bless you.